Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Rescuers make a bold claim about octopuses possibly being from space. Even in an ocean filled with plenty of mysterious and marvelous creatures, the octopus stands out. These intelligent mollusks have flexible bodies that are capable of squeezing into tiny spaces, and they can look like something out of a nightmare when all eight tentacles start pushing them through the deep blue sea. In fact, because these octopuses have so many unique characteristics, there are some researchers who suggest octopuses may have origins that are completely out of this world. Octopuses are amazing. They have huge brains, jelloid forms that can fit through minute openings, and complex nervous systems. Did we mention they're also camouflage masters? They're highly skilled at hiding in plain sight from larger predators. To one group of researchers, octopuses seem too good to be true. The group 33 researchers claim to have evidence that octopuses are such strange ocean-dwelling creatures because they were the product of outer space. They published their theory as cause of Cambrian explosion, terrestrial or cosmic, to explain their reasoning. It's plausible, they said, to suggest octopus seem to be borrowed from a far distant future in terms of terrestrial evolution, or more realistically, from the cosmos at large. Such an extraterrestrial origin as an explanation of emergence, of course, runs counter to the prevailing dominant paradigm. In other words, something about the octopus just doesn't add up. For instance, to the researchers, something about the octopi evolutionary timeline seemed off. They felt octopuses did not take enough time to transform from a single-celled organism into an incredibly complex mollusk, pointing to fossilized evidence that tracks the animal's path to its modern form. Was it possible, these researchers wondered, that octopuses are unique evolutionary mysteries because they're not completely from this planet? or because they had a little help evolving from something extraterrestrial? In the article, they laid out their case. They focused on the Cambrian explosion. More than 540 million years ago, there was an explosive evolutionary period in which the majority of modern animal groups arose. That research group believes the answer to the octopus mystery lies right at the heart of that boom. Before the explosion, most of the life on Earth was simple. Colonies of cells and single-celled organisms swam around in the plentiful bodies of water on the planet. This was long before anything was complex enough to venture from the sea to the land. Then the researchers proposed an asteroid struck. The researchers proposed that this asteroid carried a foreign substance or some kind of virus, and the idea that an outside force provided material for life to evolve on Earth isn't new. It's part of a panspermia theory. The idea that evolution was a much faster process after a meteor, or possibly more than one, crashed into the planet and deposited a virus. The scientists proposed that viruses were responsible for all life. One type, retroviruses, was proven to influence evolutionary processes. The team says viruses originate from a mysterious source and had the capability to provide enough material to permanently change life on Earth. Plenty of meteorites, comets, and other celestial objects have hit the Earth in the past. Physical evidence across the globe proves this. The team suggests one of these objects could have been carrying the ingredients for life. Octopuses arrived on the planet fully formed, though. For some reason, the writers thought fertilized octopus eggs might have been cryogenically frozen and attached to a space rock. The conditions were apparently perfect for these aliens, and they thrived there. Their evidence is that octopuses evolved too rapidly. The 33 researchers group also mentioned that there are 100 billion planets that share similarities with our own, and that's just in the Milky Way alone. It's not completely outlandish to think an organism from another world could survive some kind of journey through space before crashing to Earth. Their work was featured in the scientific journal Progress in Biophysics and Molecular Biology, where it earned an enormous amount of outside attention. However, researchers still aren't sure about their Cambrian explosion's origin theory, which played in the writer's favor. But critics were quick to jump on the story. Experts pointed out that another scientific research team sequenced the octopus genome in 2015 and found that it split from the squid only 135 million years ago. Again, the Cambrian explosion was 540 million years ago. 
there's a major lack of timeline overlap. There's no question early biology is fascinating, but I think this, if anything, is counterproductive, Ken Stedman, a virologist and professor of biology at Portland State University, said. Many of the claims in this paper are beyond speculative and not even really looking at the literature. Ken also explained if a retrovirus had impacted octopus evolution, it would have originated from another planet with similar squid-like animals. Without sharing similarities with its host, a retrovirus couldn't effectively change an animal. He called out one specific claim in the alien octopus theory. Ken explained, the retrovirus certainly was not specific enough for something like a squid unless you have massive amounts of squids on some planet incredibly close to us that's spitting off all these meteors, but I think that kind of assumption is highly unlikely. Other scientists have aligned with Ken, like Karen Malling, a virologist at the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Genetics in Germany. The study is very useful, but the findings cannot be taken seriously, Malling wrote, continuing, there is no evidence for it at all. Though the team managed to get their paper published in a scientific journal, taking a closer look at their evidence shows how little of it they actually possess. Even with basically zero proof, they were comfortable enough to draw a conclusion and label it as a serious hypothesis. Even though the team was imaginative, they published a paper without substance and received plenty of attention in the process. Of course, the team argued that plenty of animal origin stories have been sorted out in heated debates. Researchers first thought that the platypus was a hoax. Please share this with your friends.